Well, it's been a rough 24 hours at this local dog park. We're live near Spadina and Adelaide, where the city seems to have really stepped in it. They posted controversial signs here warning dog owners that excessive barking will not be tolerated. The signs sparking such an uproar, the city now throwing dog owners a bone and removing them. <laughs> Do you think the city's barking up the wrong tree here? Totally, they're definitely barking up the wrong tree over here. I mean. <laughs> Warned not to bark at the newly renovated park. Dog owners were taken aback by the tone of the signs posted at St. Andrew's Dog Park. I think they wasted material in making it. It's a joke, I would hope. <laughs> They were no joke. Attention, they read. Due to the closeness of area residents, do not allow your dogs to bark and disturb the neighborhood. They went on to say excessive barking will not be tolerated. It's like telling kids in the playground to stop yelling. So I don't know how like realistic or enforceable it is. I think the better idea if it's open till midnight is to probably just like limit the hours of operation of the park would probably be a more sensible thing. Right. Because, yeah, this little one's going to end up in doggy prison pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. What do you think of the new rules? What's your What's your dog's name? Madeline. Madeline. What do you think of the signs? If I were to live next to a dog park, it might prove an annoyance. I, I'm sympathetic. You think it's reasonable? I mean, I don't know what the city's going to actually do. No, but no comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> their dogs can't really control their barking, yeah. so... I mean, he's pretty calm as it is, but, you know, uh, when there's another pretty dog around, he'll get excited, yeah? Yeah. Because <laughs> if they disturb people... Like, they yeah. put the dog park here so that dogs could be dogs and enjoy themselves, and now they're saying, don't do that. <laughs> it's a good reminder to be a responsible pet owner. I haven't noticed a problem here, but maybe some people have reported it. I think it's ridiculous. It's uh, how do you control it? You can't. It's no different than like children playing at a park and making noise and um, realistically like how are you supposed to get your dog to not bark? After initially defending the signs, the city reversed course, sending an updated statement that said the sign at the off-leash area does not meet city standards and has been removed. Although the sign was placed at this location with the intention of helping users of the off-leash area and neighboring residents coexist harmoniously, we recognize that the information did not meet the mark. The city will be reviewing its sign approval process to ensure clear communication in future signs. The city tells us over the coming days, staff will consider if replacement signs are required in this area. The city councillor for the ward also says she was concerned to learn about the signs being posted. And uh, all in all, this is a win for dog owners, proving anything is possible.